Okay, so let's solve this topic. So the application of geometric sequence. So we have this given. So suppose Bernard just been hired with monthly salary of 25,000 pesos and expects to receive an annual increase of 7%. So what will be his salary in his third year? So since in the given, the monthly salary or the starting pay is 25,000 pesos. So therefore, A sub 1 is equal to 25,000. Then since he will receive an annual increase of 7%, so therefore, R is equal to 1 for his starting pay is because 25,000 times 1, that's 25,000. Then plus his annual increase, that's 7%. So 7% in decimal, that's 0 0.07. So plus 0 0.07. Then simplify, so R is equal to 1.07. Since we're looking for his salary in his third year, so therefore A sub N is equal to a sub 3. So this one is the unknown. So to solve for the salary of Bernard in his third year, so using this formula that A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R to the power N minus 1. Since A sub N is equal to A sub 3, so we have now A sub 3 then equals a sub 1 and A sub 1 is 25,000. So we have 25,000 times R and R is 1.07. So times 1.07 then to the power N. Since A sub N is equal to A sub 3, so therefore N is equal to 3. So we have now 3 then minus 1. Then simplify, so A sub 3 is equal to 25,000 times 1.07 then to the power 2. That's 3 minus 1. And then to solve now for A sub 3, so we're going to use a calculator. So we will start on this 1.07 then to the power 2. So 1.07 to the power 2 then times this 25,000. So times 25,000 then equals. So A sub 3 now is equal to 28,622.50 or 0.5. So we have 28,000. 622.50 pesos. So this one is the expected salary of Bernard in his third year.